So we have a lot of data in our Pi system, and often we want to see what's going on right now for a particular piece of data. Now, what we're going to see here is how to do that with data link. So we got this current value query, and that shows me what's going on with one piece of data in my Pi system right now. And you can see on my sheet, I have a couple options like that. One of them references a Pi tag, and a couple other reference Pi AF attributes. So I'll start by just clearing my sheet here. And we'll start with clicking current value so we can see what's needed. So what we need to call for the current value of something in our Pi system is we need to know what it is. That's what the data item is. Root path, well, we'll talk about that in another video. For right now, you just need to know data item. And then we need to know output cell. That's where on the sheet I'm going to be putting my, my, um, my actual output. So data item, I'm going to click on search here, and I'll get brought into my search pane, and I'll find a Pi server. And if I was just doing a classic search for Pi tag, I could find it. So this is just, just like searching any classic Pi server. And I can say what point source I want, and I get some results back. And if I find, select one and say OK, it's put into the data item right there. And then if I choose where I want my output to go, right there, and say apply, I'll get that, ta that value there. If I say time at left, it'll insert the time right now at the left, and it will insert the value right next to that. So that's really great. And there's another level that we can do for this. Now, you'll see right here the data item. I wrote it in in that cell. But I can also put it on my sheet, which allows me to do some really cool stuff. So let's see here. We'll start by now you're going to click search up here. It's the same dialog. We're going to click search. And now you see we brought, we're brought in the same dialog. Now, if I select a few of these, let's say I'm going to select these two tags. Now, they're brought onto the sheet here. So this is just text in a cell. And now what I can do is I can say, okay, data item, look at what's in these cells. See that A6 through A7? It selected this range. You could also just select a single one. See, now it's just A6 or the whole range. And then when I hit apply, the values are put out in the spreadsheet. And if I say time at left and apply, now I have the, the last reported time some one of these was recorded on my spreadsheet. Now what's neat is if I go in here and I change this, it'll automatically update. So if I say sinusoid, which I know is the name of another Pi tag in my Pi system, you see this automatically updated to reflect the change that I put into the cell. Okay, one last thing for current value. So sometimes we, we did a search here the classic way for Pi tags. You can also, if you have a Pi AF server, you can do something really cool. You can organize all of your Pi system data into some way that anybody can navigate. So here we've organized our Pi system data into data for our office, the San Leandro OSISoft headquarters office. And we can see there's a couple attributes for that office, like humidity and power demand and uh, the power factor of our building. And when I say OK, it's brought out in the spreadsheet. Now one thing I've done is I've changed the justification here to make it pretty. So it'll, it might come off this way, and maybe this works for you, or maybe it's a little you know, uneven, and you can justify it to the right. Sometimes I like doing that, and then I get this nice line. Then all I need to do is current value. The data item is now this whole, um, this whole piece here. And then the output cell is where my cursor was, and I say apply, and I get the current values. If I say time at left, there we go, current values. And it's all lined up to what's going on right now. If I want these to automatically update as time goes on, I'm just going to need to close my wizard and then activate the update button up here. And you'll notice when you do that, Excel will say auto update interval has activated. So this means every five seconds it will check if there's a new value. And when there is a new value, it will put it out on the sheet. All right, so now we're going to fast forward the video so you can see updates coming in over a few minutes. And that's the current value query. It just shows you what's currently going on for a data point in your Pi system.